What's the worst case of badly behaved kids you've ever seen? I was on a train in Kuala Lumpur and there was this boy about 3-4 years old who was fairly noisy. He had a balloon and at one point he started swinging this balloon around and hitting my legs with it over and over again. I asked his mom if she could please stop him. She immediately started screaming at him and slapping him, and he started screaming back at her and slapping her, and this continued for at least the next 10 minutes until I got off the train. I changed my mind, this is much more annoying, the balloon is fine. I worked at a cinema and the location was 5 years old so we had two big arches with a lot of balloons near the entrances to celebrate. Some of them would randomly pop but there were a lot of balloons. One day I heard one pop. Then one more and more and more. Very rapidly, I walked over and saw a little boy with a knife, stabbing the balloons with such anger it was as if they had personally killed his family and made him watch. The mother was close by, and only decided to speak when she saw that I was going to say something. All she said was Johnny, give me that knife. Nothing about not stabbing balloons. No shock about him having a knife in the first place. No apologies to me for the balloons. They left the theater before I could say something. My dad's a magician and does shows for birthday parties sometimes. He also has a dwarf rabbit. The cutest, softest, calmest bunny you could ever meet. And brings him to shows. Bunny appears. Magically, of course. And the kids get to pet her a bit. One time. The birthday boy got the scariest look on his face and grabbed the bunny by the throat with both hands, like he knew how to strangle someone to death. Bunny was okay, but my dad was like, okay bunny is leaving now. Abracadabra bunny goes back in the hat. I nearly got pickpocketed by a kid at the airport reaching into my purse to grab my 3DS. I jumped back and yelled what the frick. His mom freaked out at me for cursing at her kid. No problem with him trying to steal strangers crap, though. I work at a cabinet and countertop shop with my dad. I handle the customers that come into our showroom to look around and set an appointment. Anyway, I had a couple come in with their three very small children. The oldest looked around 10 or 11 while the youngest was probably 6. As soon as they walk through the door they sprint all the way to the back of the showroom where my desk was. I didn't think anything of it because I like kids and thought they were cute. But when I left my desk to go talk to their parents, they get on my computer where I had multiple drawings up that I had been working on that day. Their parents then ask me if it's okay if they play on the computer and I was literally lost for words. I thought it was a joke. But when I realized they were serious I told them no it was not okay and I told the kids they need to get off my computer. That's just the first part. They tried to go into our warehouse which is very dangerous for small children and I again tell them to stay in the showroom. They come back in the showroom and just run around everywhere and wrestling on the floor. The entire time the parents don't say anything to them. At this point I was just trying to get them the frick out of my showroom. It was the worst 45 minutes of my life. Jeez, that would be the worst company to have to do an install for, cause you know they'd be even worse at home and underfoot. I used to work at a theme park, was walking to the break room and I have no idea what this kid, who was probably about 10 years old, was upset about, but he was going off at his mother, just screaming and calling her all sorts of words that I certainly didn't know at that age and things you should never call anyone, let alone your mother. If I were his mom, we'd be packing it up on our way home, but she was just taking it, didn't say a word back to him. Wasn't sure whether I should feel sorry for her or the kid. I was in high school so probably 16 stroke 17, and waking home from school one day, a group of boys is walking towards me, probably 10 12 in age. As we pass each other, one of the boys steps out in front of me, reaches out, and grabs me by the crotch, then jumps away laughing, his friends laughing with him, I'm so startled I don't do anything, like slap his smug face, but a few moments later my dad pulls up in our van, and right away he can tell I'm upset, I tell him why, he hits the gas and catches up to the group of boys, he peels up next to them, tire screeching and turns in front of them, kinda cutting them off, pops out, corners the little buttholes, and proceeds to lecture them about inappropriate behavior towards women until they cry. My dad is 6, 2 inches and can be intimidating. He is very intense and having his negative attention focused on you is not something you'd want. 
Good for your dad. I blame the parents, but here is my story. Was at a restaurant and the mother was just letting her kids draw on the wall and also lick everything. Like full on licking walls and tables. Kept talking to her friends or family and totally ignored this kids licking and drawing on every eye thing. Eventually the staff asked her to make the kids stop which she, albeit with some attitude, did end up stopping. People are so insensitive these days. Like, my goodness, they were just marking their territory. I was in a fitting room at a chain clothing store and this group of, say 10 kids, was running around the fitting rooms screaming and crying and two of the little boys crawled under my door and stood in the fitting room while I was naked, saying terrible things that kids that age should not have known. I'm usually pretty level headed but I found the mother and absolutely went off on her. I typically would never, ever judge the way a mother raises her children, but that, that was absolutely unacceptable. She didn't even care. Saying terrible things that kids that age should not have known. I used to work with elementary school age kids and you would be surprised what they say and talk about. I was working in a convenience store. A woman came in with her grandson who was 7 or 8. He wanted a candy bar and she said no. He threw a huge fit and grabbed an entire box and ran through the store, ripping them open and throwing them on the floor while screaming. The grandmother was saying in a sweet voice now. Stop that baby. That's not the right way to behave. She finally gave in and said he could have the candy bar. She brought it to me and said we'll take this and I said actually, you'll take all of them. She didn't argue. I counted 12 candy bars that the little butt had destroyed plus the one she handed to me. At target, two kids age 8 10 were hitting each other, screaming, and climbing all over their cart, disrupting everyone around them. The older woman with them just casually browsed shelves and ignored it. They were at the store for an hour. In that time, the kids slapped items off shelves from inside the cart as they rolled by, hooting and hollering the entire time. Other customers turned their heads and made comments to each other about the spectacle. No target employees said anything. They ended up rolling up right behind me in the checkout line. And luckily my items were almost done being scanned and therefore out of reach of their little grabby monster hands. I couldn't hear the cashier over their constant screaming. So I turned to one of the children, smiled, and said very politely hey cutie, use your indoor voice, okay. The older lady with them suddenly went from calm to completely enraged. What did you say to him? He has every right to do whatever he wants. I gave her a blank look and said I have the right to shop in a nice quiet store, which yeah was kind of stupid for me to say, but at least it shut her up. I was at Target and there was a kid running around like a little heck razor. I was getting my cart and it was stuck, so I pulled really hard. The cart went flying back and hit the kid square in the face. The mother runs over and starts screaming at the kid for being an idiot. I was in a shopping center and there was a mum and small boy maybe, 8, and a grandmother. The gran was using a wheelchair to get around because it looked like she had surgery on her leg. Anyway the gran stood up to look at some clothes on a rack briefly and the kid jumped in the wheelchair. When the grandmother needed to sit down again, the kid became a screaming mess and grabbed onto the chair as him mum tried to make him let go. He just would not let go and was basically telling his mum to frick off. Kids are evil. Worked at a store when I was younger so I saw some crap. One that stands out was an obvious blended family. Lady, dude, two kids. I get this dude a fishing license and other fishing crap. Lady pays. A few minutes later she and the oldest kid, probably 10, returns with a cart and 50 pounds bag of dog food and asks if she can pay. I say yes. I'm ringing them up and something prompted this kid to smash the shopping cart right into his mom's lower back. Hard. He winds up and does it again. I'm in shock. I grab the cart so he can't do it again. The lady threatens him with someone like you're grounded. You can't watch movies tonight and he literally just laughs at her and says yeah right. She starts crying and telling me she didn't even want to come here today. It was terribly obvious she had no control over this kid. On the way out he smashed the cart into a few shelves too. Just to be in butthole. People around were staring. I felt so sorry for her. I wanted to kick this kid's butt. Willing to bet money the dad was hitting abusing the mom. And the son learned that behavior from him. I've seen it before. Unfortunately. I knew a kid that was so selfish. 
that if someone asked him for a few chips he would destroy the whole bag in front of them so that he wouldn't have to share. Was it you? I used to babysit as a teen. Well I got called by a friend's dad and asked if I would help my friend watch her sibling as they would tend to fight about listening to my friend. Yeah okay sure. Paid to chill with my friend no biggie. Before this I'd never been to her house before. We always hung out at mine. Piece of cake I thought. I was wrong. The parents were gone before I got there. I walked into the house to find the 9 year old naked and chasing my 13 year old friend with a knife screaming I'll freaking kill us all the baby. About 4. Was in nothing but a soiled pull up. Rooting through all the cupboards and throwing things everywhere. I had two little brothers. Was and still am a hard butt. No amount of yelling. Taking toys. Calling the parents or anything else chilled these two freaking monsters out. I had no idea how my friend was well adjusted living in this freaking crap. The 9 year old started physically attacking me. With fists, knives, scissors, toys. Anything he could possibly do the 4 year old following suit. I finally had freaking enough. The kids broke multiple picture frames. The TV. The parents bedroom furniture. Two doors. And various other household things. The 9 year old then tried to run out the door and down the main road. I freaking snapped. My friend and I duct taped that freaking monster spawn to the godsmond couch. With him subdued the 4 year old quickly mellowed out. My friend was able to change her. Clean her up and make her lay down for a nap. I got dreamed out by the parents for harming their innocent ad son and he of course milked crocodile tears for everything it was worth. I told my mom and she called CPS. I was never allowed at that house again. Like you'd ever want to be in the first place. My friend and her family moved out of town a year later. Moved back to town 6 or so years after that. The son has been in juvie for assaulting students, adults, and animals. I'm convinced he's a freaking serial killer in the making. My friend turned to older men and drugs as a form of coping and we fell out. The youngest, the sister, seems normal-ish if not for being silent. But yeah, worst parenting I've ever had direct interaction with. That's just sad. One time I was bowling with my kids and the place was kinda empty except for a birthday party going on on the other side of the lanes. Well the people at the party weren't paying attention to their kids cause their toddlers came right over to our lane and started tossing bowling balls around the place. After a few minutes of me trying to get the kids to stop I had to leave them where they were to go over to the party group to find out who they belonged to. But they barely apologized and just grabbed the kids. Not 3 minutes later they were back and doing the same thing. Had to find the parents again. Few minutes later I am about to try and get the last pin down on my second ball and one of the freaking kids runs up behind me and throws a freaking ball and stole my freaking shot. I was balls. I actually put more of this on the parents than the kid. But while in a drugstore in line I saw two kids tearing up the place, pulling things off shelves, etc. The clerks could only stand by and watch. Mom was off to the side doing something else and paying no attention to the kids behavior. So, I stated in a loud voice can you believe how some people let their kids run wild mom comes running over, makes some inane excuse, grabs the kids and huffs out, smiles all around. I had a similar experience. Sometimes you really do have to step up and say something. At an open house on a fully furnished home, still occupied by its owners, Parents let their four kids race through the rooms, opening drawers in the kitchen and bedrooms and helping themselves to food from the fridge and pantry. The kids even turned on the owner's TV and stereo. Meanwhile, their parents did nothing to stop them, even when the agent asked them to please get their kids under control. I went with my girlfriend and her 6 year old to see a rental. They let us in a model apartment that was furnished and at one point found the 6 year old shoes and jacket off lying on the bed saying we should get the apartment because the bed is soft. While waiting for a flight, I watched a little girl scream at her mother that she wanted ice cream, then slap her mother in the face repeatedly while making banshee noises. The mother didn't say a word and just got up and took the girl to go get ice cream. That's how delinquents are made. Not me, but a friend of mine. He was bitching about a family in a market whose little girl copped a squat and pee in the grocery aisle. Apparently they just kept walking, leaving a yellow puddle in the aisle. In a women's restroom in the mall a mother had her two boys follow her in. These kids were like, 7-10ish so they were a little old for that, 
especially given that there was a family restroom right next to this one. But still, it would have been whatever if these kids hadn't been perverted little shoots. They ran around screaming and peeking through the doors, taunting the women trying to pee in private. It's stuff like I see your pee, which, always great to hear from a child. I feel gross just remembering it. When they were yelled at, wish I could say by me, but I barely qualify as a vertebrate under social pressure. The mom loudly announced that the women scolding them was just racist. So I guess that'll be their fallback reason to not re-evaluate their behavior ever. Way to teach your kids to respect women. S. Once we were having a get together celebrating my husband's home country's national day. We made food from his home country, including a limited amount of his country's national cookie biscuit. We told everyone that we only had enough of these for each guest to get one. We gathered all the kids together and told them the same thing. Then, we put these special cookies up on a higher shelf so the little ones wouldn't be tempted. There were plenty of other cookies biscuits, candy sweets, and cakes available. One 12 year old kid climbed on a bra stool, took down the plate of special biscuits, and ate every single one. He took the plate into another room. He literally took a bite of each one, placed it back on the plate, and picked up another one took a bite, etc until all of them had a bite taken out, then he proceeded to eat them all. One of the younger kids came into the main room and told us. When we found him, there were three left, each with a bite taken out. I asked him, those were for everyone. Why did you eat them all? He stuffed another one into his mouth, chewed and swallowed, and replied, the food sucks. This is the only thing I can eat. Someone else asked him why he had bitten into them all. He replied, if I bite it, it's mine. I didn't want the other kids to have them. I took the plate away. He started yelling at me about how I was unfair and that he was going to tell his dad. He ran off and a few minutes later his dad comes storming and insisting that we let his son eat a cookie. That's all he wants is one cookie. It's not fair to take them away. It's not like anyone else can eat them. Anyway, I threw them in the trash and said, nope, that's enough. He bitched about how we should have had enough for everyone, and he would never come to one of our parties again. Used to work at Target, aside from being the Bobcast capital of the world, we also had stickers we could hand out to kids at our registers. It was a small bit power. Well behave kid, I was the Oprah of stickers. Little crap weasel, no sticker for you. But there was one instance that haunts me to this day. A little girl, no older than 6 years old, was with her mother. Her mother was just trying to buy some groceries and some mac and cheese so she could feed the fruit of her loins. This little girl saw the tiny Barbie dolls we had on the racks near the register. She wanted one. She. Wanted. One. The mother. Being an actual parent told her no. The temper tantrum I saw radiate from this beast was nothing short of legend. Ancient gods spoke in dark tongues as rage welled in this monster. The lights dimmed, the sun faded away, and the whispers of thousands of damned souls echoed in my store. Her eyes lit up with hellfire and she unleashed a banshee shriek so fierce that the dead rose from their graves. I slammed my hands over my ears, watching her rip the entire rack apart throwing each and every tiny Barbie doll onto the floor. She continued to wail and scream, jumping up and down and smashing it under her feet. I slowly backed away, looking to my manager, who looked just as horrified as I did. But her mother though, her mother's face, I saw in that woman's eyes a drained, withered soul. I saw the face of a woman who had no reason to live other than that. That thing. I saw a woman whose entire life was destroyed. And that was the day I knew that I would never have children myself. Needless to say, that little girl did not get a sticker. Oh heck no. If my kid did that, I would drag his butt out of the store. I will not stand there helplessly watching my kid lose his crap like that. The daughter of my friend's girlfriend. My daughter is just a year older than this child, so I can compare their behavior pretty fairly. This kid was the standard I'm a freaking brat, but my mom thinks it's cute and funny. Well, sometimes, when the mom could be bothered to pay attention to her child, which wasn't too often, I went to dinner with them a couple of times. 
The first time, we were waiting for a table to open, sitting in the waiting area with a bunch of other people, including a family next to us who had a newborn baby that was sleeping in its car seat at the time. This little girl decided it would be appropriate to start rocking the baby seat and get in the baby's face, while the parents looked on in horror. And yet, friend's girlfriend would not do a dang thing about it. Then the child was rolling around the floor yelling, obviously disturbing the people waiting quietly for their table. My friend told his girlfriend to control her. She glanced up for a second from her phone and laughed, before going back to her important phone crap. During dinner, the child crawled under the table and started climbing on me, thinking it's funny. This was my first time meeting the kid and her mom, messing with me while I'm trying to eat. Again, her mom wouldn't do anything about it. Freaking infuriating. My daughter has never acted anywhere close to this. Obviously, it starts with parenting, which is why my daughter has great manners and knows how to behave in public and this monster is the devil because of her worthless mother. I babysat a 4 year old, Zed, a couple years ago. His mom, who was about 32, just got a new boyfriend so she would just dump Zed on me whenever she needed to go out with her new BF. It would be fine. If she did tell me she'd be picking him up at 5 and didn't come till 10pm all the while Zed is crying for his mom, who never answered the phone. The little second night I watched him, his mom called me and asked if Zed could stay the night cause she had an emergency of course I said yes. But Zed was terrified of staying at someone's house who he just met the day before and cried almost all night. Because of him getting no attention whatsoever he was an absolute brat. He would do absolutely anything for attention including pulling up pee on the internet. At 4 freaking years old, he also would never leave my side even if I went to the bathroom. Now I know there are family issues involved in this and that he was just reacting the only way he could. But dang that was the most badly behaved kid I've ever met. Who wants to bet her emergency was getting some dong? There's places in Manchester where a group of 10 year olds will put a brick through your windscreen while driving. What do you do? Call the police? They won't come. Can't lay a hand on them or it's assault on a minor. Leave your car you'll be attacked. Find their parents and most likely they are addicts drunks. You do nothing. Was on a plane and this boy who looked no older than 9. Was cursing at the flight attendant with every profanity you could think of because they messed up his small in flight meal. Meanwhile his parents didn't care and the attendant started to walk towards the back of the plane crying. I wanted to reach over and smack that little brat. I have dealt with those customers all the time over the phone lol. Just about any kid that will spin my baggage carousel when I'm trying to bag groceries or screaming so loudly that it causes my ears to ring. Can't even forget the kids that will go and stick suction cup phone rests all over their faces thinking it hilarious or peeking into a mystery box to see what toy is inside of it. Not without damaging the packaging of course. Or opening food or a drink before realizing they don't have enough money for it so it ends up having to go to claims. The joys of retail. Not me but a classmate of mine used to be a counselor at some summer camp up in the mountains. Had a very boy scout vibe. These kids were maybe around 8. This one kid was such a brat and threw a fit any time he didn't get his way. One day for lunch. His mom didn't pack him red Gatorade and he completely lost it. After a half hour of screaming they had to call his mom to which she suggests to just buy one for him. They told her that based off their location, the nearest market is about a half hour away. She then tells them to just take one out of another kid's bag. Wonder why he's such a brat. I swear this crap makes me so angry. You could parent your kid in a way so that he doesn't end up a complete butthole later in life but no. You have to teach him how to be a selfish little crap by stealing. I encountered this one terror named Franklin when working at a summer camp. Never mind that my application at the job office said no children jobs. But science stuff. They looked at what was available and dumped me in a kid job. He was only 5 but he was incredibly strong and fast. Now that wouldn't be so bad if he wasn't so poorly behaved. He picked up the word crap pretty early on. And I know he got it from the other counselors. They swore around the kids no matter what I said. Called the main camp lady a hoe. She may have been a conspiracy theorist and left hand supremacist. But still. And constantly made runs for the gym. One time I had to physically block him from getting in when he wasn't supposed to. Which resulted in us losing him for 10 minutes. 
Also he punched me in the balls and started smear campaigns against me long after it was made clear that I was more trustworthy than him. He really hated me. My son. Mom and I were out shopping and for lunch and we were looking around a store. There were a few kids just running everywhere. Sitting on decorations that had signs explicitly stating that they weren't to be sat on and the parents were nowhere in sight. My son looked at me in disbelief that these kids were being so bad and said I'd be in big trouble if I did that right he was only 5 and knew better than these parents. They were kicked out of the store after breaking a shelf but I watched as the staff tried to find the parents and they were all the way across the store. The kids were like 7 and 4. I used to work at a big box home improvement store and you'd see the craziest stuff. Once while restocking hardware, which was adjacent to doors and windows, I caught this mom playing with a 4-5 year old in the doors. Not just any doors, mind you. They were playing hide and seek and the shelving holding heavy, metal, exterior doors that could easily fall and seriously hurt the little kid. I stopped them. Thinking at first it was two kids, and I got a flippant response from the mother as they continued to screw around, in between, and behind the 100 plus LBS doors. When I alerted management, the mother said she didn't think it was such a big deal and we should have just let them be. They left quickly after that, without buying anything, which begs the question of what they were even doing in the store besides pretending it's a playground. A few years later, after becoming an RN, I asked a family to pick their crawling toddler off of the hospital floor and to wash her hands. I was looked at like I was crazy until I explained that blood, urine, and worse regularly spills on the floors and that they are cleaned only once a day. Honestly, my niece and nephew take this prize. This would be my wife's brother and his family. My wife's family is very traditional and her siblings are all amazing people. But this blows my mind. So my brother-in-law and his wife don't believe in discipline. And don't believe in using the word. No. I'm serious. I mean this in the most literal sense. It's not hyperbole or sarcasm. They literally do not discipline their children. So. What does this look like? My niece and nephew. 3 and 5 respectively. Have been taught since inception that they do not have to live by rules. Rather than correct their children. They try to rationalize with them. Don't get me wrong, I believe that we should teach our children reason and common sense, but I also believe that this needs to be taught through experience and discipline. Have you ever tried to reason with a 4 year old? If you hold up a chocolate bar and an apple to a 4 year old and ask them, which one is better for you, they will point to the chocolate bar. They aren't stupid, they are children and simply don't know better. Unfortunately that's the logic the parents use with their kids. The children have taught their parents that if they don't want to do something, they can scream at the top of their lungs and immediately enter negotiations where they will continue screaming until they get what they want. This happens every time. A few months ago over Christmas break I was in a hotel with the two kids and their parents. Little Johnny started messing around with the toilet and I told him, no sir, leave that alone. Johnny freaking yells at the top of his lungs at me, and I come unglued. I get down on my knees and look at this little crap in the face and tell him to cuss it out. He's not going to scream at me and he better get his act together. Parents over here and come rushing into the restroom and lay into me about their sensitive children and how that's not the way to speak to children, and they there are other ways to talk to them. I was beside myself, couldn't deal with it. I let them know I couldn't deal with their fricked up logic. So yeah, those two. Frick my Bill and his wife for not teaching their kids, they are going to be terrors when they get to school. I don't understand people who won't say no to their children. That's how you end up with your grown child in jail for assault. I don't hit my son, it's just not for me, but I certainly tell him no, put him in timeout, and use a big scary voice if he doesn't listen. If I never told him no I would lose my mind. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.